Hey guys, welcome back to Black Desert. I'm your host, No Impressions here. Uh, <laughs> this is my first impressions of the Archer. Um, and really, all I have to say is he seems broken as fuck, in my opinion. Uh, don't let this uh, dissuade or persuade you into playing him. I mean, if you want to play him and you enjoy him, don't let this video take it down. In fact, probably click off and go watch something else. Don't, don't listen to me. <laughs> okay, so today's my... First impression of playing the archer, I'm not interested in the class. I ultimately find him very boring to play. Um, that's just me, obviously. I know other people who have prated and joyed about playing the archer ultimately and re-rolling away from it. Um, or re-rolling into it, not away from it. But um, I'm not going to be maining it at all. I have no interest in playing him. Uh, but overall, my first impressions of him is that he's he seems really overpowered. Um, People are like, oh, he's not that strong. And as like during stream, some people are saying like, I think he needs to be buffed. I'm like, okay, first off in the Korean patches, he was nerfed before he was even released. <laughs> and then after his release, he got nerfed again. <laughs> okay. And the people who are thinking of like, oh, he's not that strong right now is because one, he doesn't have his absolute skills. And two, his awakening quest is not out. So you can't really learn like some of his more powerful skills because they require that skill to be learned in order to actually rank these up. So you are obviously using underscaled, underleveled skills. So of course you're not that strong. You don't need a buff. The numbers themselves are crazy on this character. Um, just in comparison to a character that exists in the game, which I play like Lon, for instance, half of like more than all of his attacks literally are about 300 to 400 percent on average more damage than Lon's attacks already. Um, his passive buffs are are like far beyond any other class. I don't even know what the hell they were thinking with this. Um, so I'm just going to go over that first. <laughs> Let's just go over the passes first and how broken this is. Because I know the passes of other classes and this makes no sense whatsoever. So he's got a passive 10% movement speed boost on top of everybody else permanently. <laughs> so, and then he's also got plus 10 AP and 10% crit rate. So 10 ranged AP and 10% crit rate. Now back to the previous point earlier of the 300-400% more damage ratios just on the numbers alone on these skills at level 60, 58 and whatever. Um, they're all over a thousand percent and they are ranged and they also do a lot of damage. They're high crit rate. They're also high uh, accuracy, uh, super armor and a f ton of knockdown. <laughs> They have so much knockdown. This skill has knockdown. Um, this skill has knockdown on PvP good hero hit. I don't even know why it's knockdown for PvP. This is literally a shotgun five way to a screen wide hit. <laughs> so that's that's also a knockdown. Um, there's also a knockdown on Glissade here on good three hits. So I don't I don't this one is three hits, so that one's a bit slower to use, but still it's a knockdown. <laughs> Um, he's got a knockdown on good one hit on tactical strike here and he's shooting from far away as you can tell from the from the video here so effect nullified during cooldown nine nine seconds uh, they've got a lights mark so you don't need flares people wearing ghillie suits are practically useless because this will mark a person for 10 seconds and it's an AOE flash bomb you throw it at ninjas and kunos that are stealth they're suddenly just like oh I'm out of stealth and then now they'll just you know, Luther Gong calls your ass and you're dead. <laughs> this is a 1,320 times 5 max 9 hit on a crit rate 100%. And that's uh, after charging. But before charging, it's times 4, uh, 9 hits or whatever. We'll go back to this later. <laughs> so just keep that in mind for now. Radiant Explosion, Super Armor. This is just a frontal bomb uh, for grinding, essentially. I don't really know if this will be used for PvP or anything. It's also a weapon switcher. Um... Right, just smite. This thing looks ridiculous. 1756 times 7 with a crit rate 50%. Um, flow, lights, trail. Uh, this is equivalent to Radiant Explosion, except it's a flow and it looks kind of ranged here on the video. It's also a down smash and it's a knockdown. It's another fucking knockdown. How many knockdowns does this class need? Knockdown is the most powerful CC in the game next to stun. <laughs> Because it puts a person on the floor. Stun is still standing. Stun, they're still standing, but they can't be down smashed. Knockdown, you're on the floor for a good two to three seconds before you get back up. Bound is literally half the duration. <laughs> so there's uh, so much knockdown on these skills. This is just the awakening tree. <laughs> and then we've got um, we've got Righteous Fire here. This adds one hit damage on uh, as a passive. So every attack that's listed here has an extra strike, I'm assuming. I don't really know how this works. 
because it just says launches a powerful arrow using the Great Bow to inflict devastating damage. So I'm assuming every attack that's listed here has an extra damage shot on top of everything else here. So you possibly have an extra 732 or 30, 300, 300 extra percent damage on PvP or whatever because it's damage reduced. I don't know by how much because that's hidden. And this this makes no sense. <laughs> okay, now we go to the main skill tree, the main hand. So this is 653. I grind, how did I grind with my archer as in terms of first impression? Like I grinded with my archer literally holding forward left mouse button. I did it on stream. I cleared packs of catfish man so fast with only 140 AP that I had to wait for the mobs to respawn. I cleared the rotation far faster than any other class because the range is extreme. You see my mini map circle here. The range is literally like, just divide this radius in half and that's the range at least of how far you can shoot. So that that's insane. <laughs> And this is 653 times 2 times 2 with forward attack because I do forward left mouse button and you kind of slide around. And um, if anybody has seen the uh, absolutes of this, the absolute is 814 times 2 and 814 times 4 <laughs> on a double shot. And it's not PvP damage reduced and it's stiffness on good sprint hits. <laughs> it makes no sense and the accuracy rate is like way up the ass. It's 26% already at Spirit Earl X. This is It's literally double the damage of what Lon's absolute is and Lon is melee. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'm like, it's not damage reduced and it's ranged and it's super strong. Anybody who's at soft cap or beyond probably doesn't even need to use other skills. This thing will do full damage on a person. I'm sure it'll just drop them really hard. He's got a 500 HP heal at 56. Um, you can also switch this into becoming a stun or movement speed debuff for enemies, but I mean, everybody's gonna get the heal, obviously, cause that's 500 health <laughs> every 13 seconds in an AOE that you can just throw into the ground. Everybody will be raining money, okay? Cause it's literally a green spirit that you throw out like this and it heals. <laughs> so that's, that's already like, what the hell? It's 500 HP. I was joking with one of my members. I'm like, man, imagine if they put an absolute for this and doubled it. And now you get a thousand HP every, every uh, 13 seconds. Um, then we've got uh, the skills here. I I honestly have 620 points, and I didn't feel like I needed to get any of these things. All I got was meteor dive. Meteor dive has super armor and stiffness, and it hits like 960 or something in uh, absolute version with a 100% crit rate, so that's insane damage already. Um, then we've got Wing Strike. This is another knockdown. <laughs> it's knockdown on good one hit. <laughs> okay, not for PvE, for PvP. <laughs> it's 363 times 2, but then in... in uh, and crit rate 75%, but in absolute, it's 961 times 3 or something. <laughs> and this chains straight into Spirit Arrow, so just think about that. A knockdown strike that literally triggers like this, that's a knockdown. <laughs> you just do this. That's a knockdown and then two shots. Knockdown, two shots. Knockdown, two shots. If you have extreme AP like 260, 270, I'm sure that's how you can kill everybody. Then you've got uh, Earth Shatter. Uh, this thing is uh, a knockback on, on good hits, thank god. It's not knocked down on PvP. Uh, Bolt of Radiance. This is 12, 1270 times 6 plus 50% crit rate. This thing itself hits more than Lon Sal Puri Purge Absolute, and an Absolute of this, it's like 1800 times 7 or something with a 100% crit rate, or 50% crit rate, but anything that's 50% crit rate should automatically be considered as 60% because you have a 10% bonus permanent passive crit rate bonus, <laughs> so it really does not need to be like crit is probably near a hundred percent this is without skill add-ons i'm sure there's a skill add-on that gives you 10 to 20 percent as well and if you activate that on top of these plus the 10 percent anything that's 50 percent is effectively anywhere from 60 to 80 percent activation and if you're at crit rate level five that's a hundred percent crit rate on all your skills that have 50 percent so this this is utterly broken <laughs> Okay, and then on top of that, the e-buff is way better than any other class's e-buff because one, you get 100% crit rate, not that it really matters, but it's the crit hit damage plus 15% and you got the all special attack damage 
plus 15%. I don't know why there's two down attack damage plus 15%. I'm sure one of them is actually meaning air attack, but if it's actually double down attack damage plus 15 plus 15, that's actually 30%. Unless that's a tooltip error, I'm going to screenshot that because game makes no sense. So, you know, that's that's either insane buff, but even then 15% is a f <laughs> <laughs> And critical hit damage 15%. No other class gets like critical hit damage booster and considering how much crit rate this guy already has and the insane multipliers that some of his skills have, that's a lot of damage and this makes your skills 100% crit for 30 seconds when you get it. So that means every attack you do is already 15% overall boosted in damage output and if you use a sharp detection elixir that's another 15% and if you have like a uh, jungle hamburg you're looking at not 30, you're looking at like 34% extra. You do a critical hit damage crystal in your offhand and you're looking at 44%. So literally almost every critical is an air attack multiplier and more <laughs> because they also have the back attack and down attack damage bonus flipping percent, which also adds on top of that. You use a deep sea elixir and you're looking at like at least 35% extra down attack damage. Some of the skill add-ons is like 20% down smash on like arrow explosion or something like that. Um, this thing can learn 20% down smash and I was like, no other class has such a high rate on skill add-on. So really, just reroll Archer online and uh, I don't understand why the f*** they did any of this. Okay, so, you know, that's my first impression. Um, so that's, that's it. Uh, that's how I honestly feel about the class. Um, obviously, other than that, I'm still going to be playing the characters I play. Um, this isn't, this, this is just to me, like the extremities of just looking at the numbers. Uh, honestly, it just looks, it looks really, really high for what it is. And the class is ranged. It's like, if you're ranged, I do not expect power to be this far up the scale, nor for it to hit that hard. I'm sure at 271 AP, even classes that can block, you can probably break through the person's block and also all their HP bar in one shot when you have enough high AP. So like Luther Gon Gon's call especially, like this is a sniping skill. You literally just e-buff and then just shoot somebody with shift RMB because you don't have the charge with the e-buff on. Not only will it crit 100%, it also hit 15% harder. And if you have all your buffs on, elixir buffs and everything else, this will just absolutely obliterate somebody into oblivion. Um, I don't even understand what the point of this class is other than game breaking. So that's my opinion on it. Whether or not it's justified or founded, I don't really know or care because I've made so many theories that they just generally turn out be to be there because it's right there. You just have to read the numbers. You compare it to other classes, uh, their digits are not even this high. And this is not even like absolute skills. This is just re this is just regular main hand skills and they're all in the 900s. This is in the thousands already times six with a high crit rate. Meteor dive is super armor with stiffness. Um, that's not even for like PVP like reduction. That's literally whatever it is. Um, I've heard people saying he has stamina problems or whatever. I don't really, I don't really care. I feel like you're not supposed to even be close to anybody anyways. And also he's got a 20% permanent move speed considering you will be gliding around and everywhere with the slide and with that 10% movement permanent. He's got 20% move speed permanent, so he, he can almost run as fast as like half a striker or whatever, and I don't even have move speed level 5. He's got move speed 0, and he seems to be moving pretty pretty quick already. I'm def definitely faster than my lawn, so I don't even know what my lawn's passives are. It's just pathetic looking, looking at it compared to this. Lawn literally has 2.5% more attack speed and 2.5% more uh, move speed on her passive tree. And this guy gets 10% crit rate and a free ogre ring in ranged AP on top of a 10% move speed bonus. So really, like, who the fuck cares? <laughs> Anyways, uh, obviously this is very ranty and also very opinionated. Um, that's it. Enjoy the game, guys. And that's my first impressions of the Archer. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye for now. And now for a small segment I like to call Research Rant Rand this time. That's what ninjas are now, there's just some class to be shot at. Oh, you go with stealth? No problem. Light up the mark or whatever in your awakening and, and mark them. Which and is that, Now they're, yeah, and then now they're revealed for 10 seconds and it's like, what are they gonna do? Walk in stealth at 50% move speed slow? <laughs> with their stamina draining and then getting Luther Gun called in the That's face? So
apparently if they get hit with the light spark while they're in stealth, it just unstealths them. Yeah. They can't and, go and, stealth. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And then you just snipe them with a 100% or Luther can call, and then like with your e-buff that comes later, that e-buff is broken. Holy shit. Absolutely. Just, give it like a thousand. It's already 500 HP. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, just double it. It would be a thousand HP now every 13 seconds. Just have five archers in the party and we throw birds at each other like a moron. <laughs> it won't. 5,000 HP just out like that. Literally like raining money. I mean, technically, it would be raining money because it's green. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> why. That's why I said raining money. Up, so I just did wing strike to knock all of them down. Oh my god! Kill them all. Yeah, it's AOE wing strike knockdown. I, why is that a knockdown? It should have no CC on that. <laughs> the thing is so fast. It, it doesn't even make any sense. That's like that's like if uh, Tamer's Moonlight Strike had knockdown on it when, but they took stiffness off of it. They took everything off of it. <laughs> has no forward guard. Has no stiffness anymore now. She has like no crazy initiation anymore now. Archer has this fucking wing strike, dude. <laughs> What's the cooldown? Every five seconds, dude. A knockdown is three seconds. So there's a two second gap where you're not gonna get. <laughs> Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna jump into like a thousand people here. Alright, there's one, there's thing. two, there's three. Okay, okay, I got back up now, finally. <laughs> Holy shit, after three. Unless that was an air smash. Oh my... Two CC... I got a kill somehow doing that, what the fuck? <laughs> Magic kill, dude. What? <laughs> Alright, there's one. There's two. Air smash. There's three, four. <laughs> that was fucking stupid! <laughs> gonna fucking run into these people. Two, three, <laughs> four, five. I still can't get up. Six, seven. Oh, fucking retarded. Well, what is that this? Gap, I could just you, slow you down. To yeah, no, in that two second gap, you know what you do? You purging shot to try and down smash and then you vine cutter to try and down smash and then you do another wing strike and knock him down again because you can knock down somebody back to back. It would be so stupid. <laughs> Yeah, my arrow explosion has a skill add-on for 20% chance to down smash the target. Oh my, what? <laughs> Why do you get such high numbers? Your skill, are you serious? It's 20%. <laughs> this is right here, skill add-on effect for arrow explosion. Oh my. Instant oh my. recover, 30 HP per hit, and 20% chance of down smash your target. That is so stupid. You know the the base chance to down smash is 30% in general, so that to have a skill add-on that gives you 20% itself is... Oh no, it just it makes it 20% on arrow explosion, because it, it has down attack, not down Yeah, I know, but if you get a skill add-on that gives down smash of 20%, that's stupid. <laughs> that thing is 12, 20 times, so I have 100% crit. You want to know what's stupider? On absolute. My wing strike skill add-on is PvP attack plus 5 for 5 seconds for self. Freezing on target, 3%. So not only do you not, get I knocked down, I have a 3% chance of freezing you. What? <laughs> Man, okay, this is this is reroll Archer online, I guess. <laughs> Holy fuck! You can have a thirty percent overall damage reduction on it, but it's twelve twenty. I don't give a shit. Both of reading eighteen thirty times six. Who cares, man? Isn't that ranged? And it's a hundred or fifty percent crit. Eighteen thirty times fifty percent crit doesn't even matter. His passive has ten percent bonus crit. So if you have level five crit, that's ninety percent already. And you put a skill add on that probably gives him 10% credit, it's 100%. <laughs> it's fucking Who's stupid. Get Earth Shatter and oh my, oh my. The 200%. 200%. 942 times 8. Knock. Oh, okay. Knock back on good hits. For a minute, I thought I said another knockdown. <laughs> I was like, why does this class have so much knockdown? It's air attack, <laughs> air down, attack, attack down attack, down, down attack, down smash. smash. It's down smash. How many down smashes are there? He's got, he's got one, two, absolute wrath of nature is down smash. Uh, let's see, earth shatter is down smash, that's two. Then we've got purging shot down smash, that's three. A vine cutter down smash, oh my, none of these are charge skills either. I found a way to also animation cancel storm of lights, you can shoot it without having that like long animation oh too. Oh my god. And it has an absolute right below, right above, uh, Arrow explosion. Yeah. That that thing is 997 times two, and it shoots like multiple times too, doesn't it? It's 100% crit rate. 
<laughs> hits eight times, does bleeding damage, slows oh the enemy. Knock what down the, the what the fuck are Lon? I'm gonna look at Lon's awakening uh, absolutes right now. Let's see. My oh, absolute also, absolute moon dance 502 x4 x2 x4. What a joke! <laughs> and it's not even also, ranged. Like, and then let's see, pendulum, pendulum 926. You know piercing cry. Piercing cry. Yeah, it's it's the the archer skill where if you use the left mouse button after like a meteor dive or something, you t your character shoots behind him and goes back. Like the mobility skill. No. Ah, well, so if you use meteor dive and then and then left click, your character will like turn around, facing towards you, shoot, and then go back even further, and that has an absolute, and that gains stiffness on on good hit. I I don't care. I I'm just like the the spirit arrow is already stupid. The main attack absolute is eight fourteen times two, and then the second shot is eight fourteen times four. four. <laughs> okay, it makes no sense. Meanwhile, Lon, Lon Absolute is 502. It's literally half the damage melee. <laughs> what the That's fuck? what makes Piercing Cry so good, though, because Piercing Cry is all it makes no damage fucking applied sense. equals that of Spirit's Air damage. There's times. literally half the damage on my class. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I've got, I've got Dismemberment Absolute, which is 1340x3. That's nice, but. You know, you've got uh, Volta Radiance there, 1830 times 6, 50%. <laughs> <laughs> crit rate. <laughs> I have no crit rate on that. What else do I got? Absolute catacetum 774. This is garbage. 911 times 2. One hit. <laughs> uh, kick is 844. 924. It doesn't even break a thousand. <laughs> uh, Sal Purryford. 1150 times 5. 100% crit. That's my actually strongest hitting attack. Let's not forget, you can skill add on Volt of Radiance too. I so know, I I'm just- <laughs> Volt of Radiance is just like, it's twice the damage and it's ranged and it causes a dot and- <laughs> Oh, bonus- bonus accuracy rate. Crit rate is only 50%, doesn't even matter. Archer passive already bonus 10% in general. Get crit rate 5, it's already like 80%, so it's like- what we need is we need that one meme where it chose to do with his hand out in the butterfly and then just have the butterfly be Archer and be like, is this a broken class? Cl class is fucking broken. <laughs> the only thing I have that breaks a thousand is absolute spring breeze and three points stip on the extra hit damage, which is takes forever to get there. Uh, the Jesus. spin to win. Oh, the spin to win on the spin to win on Lana is like pretty high hitting, but there's no crit rate on it. <laughs> You should have seen the and then um, sacred dance, but like that also takes forever to use. Oh, fucking broken as shit. <laughs>